Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E-He, the reason you see me. Wow, wow, check it, man. Hey, man, listen, it's your boy ECO, man. I just seen this, man. Um, this Fort Worth show, man. Chris Mount came down here to Texas, man. Shut the whole thing down, man. Had the whole thing ticking and clicking. You know, a lot of people say he better than Michael Jackson, man. Man, make sure you got to like, subscribe to the channel. Make sure you guys become members. Make sure you share what we got going on over here, Boss Talk 101. But listen, I had to speak on this, man. Look like. Chris Brown is back in the news, man. And uh, like I said, real dope dude. Don't get it twisted, man. I've always been a fan of Chris. But, you know, anytime he do something, it's going to be global because a lot of people watch Chris Brown to see his next move because of all the stuff he'd been through years and years ago when he was young. But li listen, all I'm going to say is, man, the show was fantastic from the looks of it online. Everything you've seen, the boy was on point, the music. Of course, he took pictures with the women, as he always do. They were paying thousands of dollars to get with him. And, it, and at the end of the day, you got to understand, when these women come out for Chris Brown, it's a whole nother level of how they get down. So you got to understand, Chris Brown is not just no average pup when it come down to, uh, you know, having these girls in a fantasy world when it come down to him. He is the AKA sex symbol of all the music right now. Uh, this boy right here, man, they love him, you know, but as he left and when he left, now you, you, it's some stuff, to, it's some stuff that popped up in the game. People saying he done got sued now, man. I, TMZ reported it and I'm tripping off of it. I, when I looked at it, TMZ reported, say Chris Brown and Yellow Beezy sued for 50 million over alleged backstage beatdown. And it tripped me out because it's like, how could, why would somebody go backstage to get beat down? I wouldn't go backstage with them to get beat down if I knew I had issues with somebody. Why would I even be in there? Because allegedly this is something that happened a long time ago. But in the report it says, uh, and, and T, on TMZ it says, Tua has been marred by some serious, Chris Brown's Tua has been marred by some serious thuggery according to the new lawsuit accusing the singer of orchestrating the assault of several men. According to legal docs obtained by TMZ Hip Hop, Brown and Yellow Beezy, CB Entourage, Lieutenant Cinco and CJ and Live Nation are all facing lawsuits filed by the four alleged victims who's seeking a whooping, a whopping 50 million. Brown's 11-11 tour hits Dickey's Arena in Fort Worth, <coughs> Texas, on July the 20th and after the show let out plaintiffs Larry Parker, Joseph Lewis, Charles Bush and and D, uh, D.A. Marcus Powell say they were invited backstage and escorted there along with 40 women for a post-concert hang so he wanted to hang out with them now and then he said the plaintiffs say it took Chris 30 minutes to enter the VIP area where they grown tired of waiting and begin to make their exit, but not without saying goodbye to the guest of honor. According to the suit, Bush says he draped up Chris, congratulating him on a good show and received appreciate from, appreciation from the under-influenced artist. Chris, Chris Brown, uh, listen, man. Then Bush claims a member of Brown's entourage shouted loudly, man, you don't remember you two were beefing? And claim Chris Brown, Chris replied, oh yeah, we were. What's up, nigga? I don't forget ish. And verbally ordered the crew to give Bush a beat down. In the documents, it claimed, Bush claimed he was surrounded by seven to ten of Chris 
uh, chums who, who, who punched him and kicked him. He also claims entourage rem members known as hood boss threw a chair at his head. The plaintiff also alleged Chris sent Yellow Beasy and CO to F up Parker, chasing him into the dead end staircase with a, with a locked door. Parker says he was punched and kicked in his head for more than 10 minutes after Chris entourage also his comparisons to getting a piece of the action. His companions got a piece of the action. I'm sorry. But yeah, this is all supposed to went down in Fort Worth. And, you know, it's crazy to me. Why would they even go backstage if they had a previous beef with this man? If you got issues with somebody, why would you want to go backstage with him? And that tripped me out, and I couldn't understand why. But then I looked and see who they had as a lawyer, Tony Busby. And um, it's a trip because he's known for getting hit, what he's getting out of the situation. But, boy, I tell you what, man, uh, uh, let me, uh, reality TV, you there? I'm here. What do you think about this? Um, I can say this, um, you know, Chris Brown, they tried to slap the Chris Brown when he first said that, you know, announced that he's going to be in the tour, you know, on the tour in Dallas, uh, somebody made a, a article and was, you know, instead of like saying Chris Brown coming in town, they made, you know, talking about the domestic violence and all that stuff that they decide. But TMZ always report negative stuff about, uh, Chris Brown. So, I mean, he may not even be. I don't know. You got four guys. You got four guys here claiming that they was assaulted by several guys. I mean, they, they just got their ass whooped. I bet if they didn't get their ass whooped, they wouldn't have said nothing. They got their ass whooped probably, and they just feel like Chris Brown got money, Elvis got money, so I guess they just trying to get a lick. That's what it was like. So you think it's a money grab? I do. Because it says, this, now, now this last yeah, part. Women are, don't forget, y'all say women are gold. This wild man can't be over here trying to do a money grab. Because it looks like a money grab to me. It says, all four men say they suffered severe injuries and had to undergo various medical treatment. Their attorney, Tony Busby, says at least one of them remained hospitalized and vowed to bring CB to justice. In addition to the $50 million, uh, in damages, the plaintiff have also filed for a restraining order against Chris and B Yellow Bees and Cinco CJ. He said, we reached out to Chris Brown and Bees' camp, but nothing back yet. So, yeah, it's, 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 it's something else. I want to see the footage because in situations like this, somebody's going to have a phone down. So, wherever the footage is, I'm ready to see it. Because that'll tell it all. Who started it and finished well, let me let me share with you what the what the lawyer said too. The lawyer said on Saturday night in Fort Worth, this Tony Busby page, I believe, Fort Worth, entertainer Chris Brown, along with his entourage, uh, attacked and brutally beat several men who had just attended the concert. Multiple police reports have been made. At least one of the men beaten remains in the hospital. Chris Brown has a long history of violence. He has been arrested. Are accused of assault on at least ten occasions. Enough. The the right. and then then Tony Busby says the law firm filed suit this morning on the behalf of the four men brutalized this last weekend in the hope of obtaining justice for these victims and putting an end once and for all to Brown's intolerable thuggish behavior. That's what uh, Tony Busby said. Thuggish. Yeah, that's that Tony Busby. He, he's, he, he, from what I hear, and we're here, he's a whip when it comes down to this stuff. So I don't know. I think them guys need to be concerned, man. Uh, like I said, Yellow Beezy, and, and, and you got Yellow Beezy, and you get, they named Yellow Beezy, and they named uh, Chris Brown. And it's crazy how they, you know, how this stuff be ending up, man. Um, all I know is we got to figure this out, man. I, all I can say is, man, Chris Brown. Man, I, I know this is probably a money grab, but you got to learn from this, man, because if they hopefully hopefully you guys can beat this or they may just want to settle and get the money. We don't know. So so can he defend himself? Ain't nothing wrong with the. I, if somebody hit him, he don't have a right to hit him back? 
You ain't got a right to hit him back. But according to the report, they're saying he, according to TMZ, is blaming Chris, of course, because they're telling him from a lawyer's standpoint. And Chris Brown got the most money, so of course. Well, you know, like I said, we'll see, man. I, hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just, I'll end it on that. Chris Brown definitely got the most money. Listen, man, make sure you got like, subscribe to the channel. Make sure you guys um, check out, uh, you know, everything we got going over here as uh, far as uh, Boss Talk 101. We, um, we definitely appreciate you guys for tapping in. Just make sure you guys um, let us know in the comments, like, what do you think? Do you think Chris Brown and them did this, or do you think it's something a money grab? As uh, reality TV was saying, let us know. Get in the comments, like, subscribe, share, uh, hit that uh, notification bell. But we need to understand what you think, man. Boss Talk 101 had to just check out everything that was going on from every aspect, man. Let us know what you think. Seemed like a hell of a concert, but hey, did this happen? Uh, do you think the lawyers is going to get, is any money coming back out of this? Let us know, man. Boss Talk 101, but a boss is talk. Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E-He, the reason you see.